Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, there's a lot of people upset with Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida. And I was looking at a couple of publications this morning and they said his approval rating is sinking in Florida. A lot of people are unhappy with the way he has been handling this. And it's said that Florida is now the epicenter in the country. So he is down there, I guess, doing what we have seen these folks do our whole lives, mess everything up. <laughs> okay, this is USA Today, August 9th, 2021. Florida Governor DeSantis to school officials enforce mask mandate, get your salaries withheld, which I don't think he can do that. You know, they do have laws in place where someone, if you work, they can't refuse to pay you. You know, he is opening himself up to being sued. You know, that's already been tried and failed, Ron. Mm -mm -mm. The state could defund the salaries of district superintendents and county school board members who mandate mask wearing in schools according to a statement from Governor Ron DeSantis' office. So Ron DeSantis don't want anyone with a mask on. Now, let me just tell y'all something, and you can find this information yourself. Last week, last week, 94,000 children got Delta. Last week, that's just one week. One week, 94,000 children got it. And this man says, nope, when you go to school, you just go to school. No mask for anyone there. You put a mask on and you won't get your salary. This is what he's saying. The statement comes as the latest salvo in an ongoing battle over mandating mask in school a fight that has flared in school districts across the country as the pandemic is just surging everywhere. Everybody knows this by now. The school year is set to start. It's already started in some places. And I did a story that came out of, I believe, Tennessee, where they had to shut down the school because in just a few days, there were too many people that were sick. And that's going to happen all over the country, y'all. It is just going to happen. These folks say, you know, they think they can normalize everything through a pandemic, but they will soon learn they will not be able to do it. The statement comes as the latest. Let me just go down a bit. The governor's spokeswoman, Christina Pushaw, released the following language Monday afternoon with respect to enforcing any financial consequences for non-compliance of the state law regarding these rules and ultimately the rights of parents, 
to make decisions about their children's education and health care decisions. It would be the goal of the State Board of Education to narrowly tailor any financial consequences to the offenses committed. So he's pretty much saying you put a mandate in place, you lose your salary, which, I, like I said, I don't see how he can do that. But OK, for example, the State Board of Education could move to withhold the salary of the district superintendent or school board members as narrowly tailored means to address the decision makers who led to the violation of law. So he's saying a mask mandate is a violation of law. At least one had offered an immediate defiant response and that's Leon County Superintendent Hannah told school officials at a meeting Monday afternoon, you can't put a price on someone's life, including my salary. We want to make sure that children also have access to high quality education, but if they can't, if they're sick and in the hospital, he added, hours earlier, Hannah announced that students in elementary and middle schools will be required to wear masks as the coming school year begins in Tallahassee. Leon joined several other Florida counties, including Broward, Duval, Hillsborough, Orange, and Palm Beach that have already announced mask mandates in public schools. Angry parents have flooded the school board meetings in Florida and across the country, both supporting and opposing face covering requirements on school children. Okay, so they're saying in North Carolina, for example, a group of parents opposing the district's mask mandate tried to overthrow the current board and instate themselves into the positions over the question of mask mandate. Well, if these parents don't want their kids to have it on, then they shouldn't have to wear it. They shouldn't have to wear it, plain and simple. You know, just looking at stuff like this, when it comes down to your child, I said this before, I will say it again, you make the decisions. You don't let somebody like Ron DeSantis and all these people make decisions on, you know, your child's life, you know, and, and stop doing what these people do. You know, a, a lot of you have done that. And what good did it do you? None. You know, you make the decisions for your children. You don't let this man do that. Get the hell out of here. So, as part of a longer statement to the USA Today Network Florida, DeSantis spokeswoman Christina Pushaw said that the father, as a father of three, the governor cares about every child in our state and trusts families to make the right decisions for their own children. Anyone who feels safer wearing face coverings is free to wear one and any parent who wants his or her child to wear a face covering has the right to make that choice. Yeah, but when you say you're going to take people's salaries, you're not letting them make the choice. <laughs> you're making the choice for them. And, you know, I'm sorry, I would never trust this man with my child's life. I would recommend none of you do but you do what's right for your child down there in Florida. I sure don't trust this man, but if you do, then I guess, hey, do what he says. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video.